Imagine capturing a candid shot of a relaxed David Bowie or being present at the riot on Haight Street at the Michael Jackson autograph signing. Well, our next guest did both, and he shares it all in his latest bl book, Blue Collar Photographer. Joining us now in studio is photographer and author Pat Johnson. Pat, thank you so much for joining us here on Live in the oh, Bay. My pleasure. Yeah, Absolutely. so excited to talk about all of the work that you've done. Now, this book, Blue Collar Photographer, features nearly 50 years of photography when it comes to musicians, musical artists out there. Yep. How did you first get started in that industry? It's a wonderful story. I, be, I became friends with the late bass player of Santana, and he invited me to be his guest uh, New Year's Eve 1973, Santana Winterland. It was like, and I'm a kid from Cleveland, 22 years old. I was flabbergasted that, I, that my name was on the list. And, the, and I, of course, I went to took pictures. And the opening band was a new band called Journey. And two of those members were from the original Santana. And just as an aside, I look up and took like three pictures. That's it. Mm -hmm. And then shot a whole bunch of Santana just because, wow, you got the opportunity. And one picture of Neil Sean, the lead guitar player, Doug Roach saw it and loved it and dragged me to their offices. And Herbie Herbert, their manager, loved the picture. Had Neil came down and he loved the picture. And they basically, to make a long story short, ultimately within a month they said you want to be our photographer so my first client was journey <laughs> that's pretty incredible yeah. not a lot of people can say no. it's a story like that yeah. wow okay so that's how you got into the business yeah. now you don't just do musical photography you've fo photographed sports yeah. so many other different venues yeah. but when it comes to music specifically why was this such a, an area of interest to you well in that era of, our, of, of my life, and anyone from that era, the 60s and 70s, you, they all brag about them how the music was great, and it was. And uh, I, I was just lucky enough to photograph people that were spectacular, and they let me be creative, and I was allowed to be as creative as I, as I could. And as, for being a photographer, that's magic. Yeah, yeah. And what inspired you to collect all of the so many of the photographs from the past like you said almost 50 years yeah. when it comes to musical artists what inspired you to collect it all together and put it in a book everybody for years has said to me where's your book where's your book where's your book <laughs> and i'm a blue collar guy i mean i have to work I, you know yeah. I, I'm not, I don't come from the, w the wealthy part of cleveland i come from the west side which is steel mills and and uh ford plants and and tool and die shops and so I had to work and you know I had to work every day to make a living as a photographer and that's kind of where the title blue collar photographer comes from the the west side of Cleveland steel mill and the, I was a blue collar work a day photographer so I'd start it for two days and then I'd never I'd never be able to finish it well the pandemic hit mm -hmm. and if you remember the first two months of the pandemic no one knew what to do you just kind of hid in your house well rather than sit around doing nothing I went after my book and started putting it together and I brought it to my friend Joel Selvin, who's a legendary uh, rock writer. He was a Chronicle writer for 40 years. And he said, no, do it this way. And I went back and did it. And then a year later, I hired uh, Pamela Turley, who's a great editor. And between us, we put this together. And a year later, I had a book. And your book also features a few different stories. Yep. Now, I know this might be a hard question for you, but if you could choose or something that comes to mind, something that's very memorable for you or something that you're very fond of, what was one of maybe the, your favorite musical artists that you photographed? Um, the three nicest people I work with outside of the locals that I got to be friends with were Michael Jackson, like you talked about earlier, David Bowie, and Sting. Mm -hmm. And they were just the nicest, most humble people I've ever worked with. Um, obviously, people want to hear about Michael Jackson. It was the Jacksons. He was 15. And they had just signed from Epic from Motown. And they were promoting their first album. And so they went around. We spent three days going around photographing them. And they're promoting the record. And um, the last day, there was a riot on hatred. It sounds like it was a bad thing. It, 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 was, it wasn't mean-spirited. The, the Jacksons pulled up, and it was a record store, Jack's Music, and the same door in, same door out. Mm -hmm. And there was thousands of kids there. And I'm standing at the plate glass window as the J Jacksons walk in, uh, and they're sitting down, getting their pens out, and the windows go boom, boom, and 
crash. All these kids, I mean kids, come tumbling down, blood everywhere, glass everywhere. I looked at, uh, I, I could have taken more pictures and been like that guy, but I didn't. I put the camera on, help the kids. And my friend Joel Newman, the Epic Records guy, says, I'm going to lose my job over this. And I could have sold these pictures immediately to People Magazine, The Chronicle. I put them in my pocket and said, no, Joel, I got your back. And I wanted to protect the Jacksons and yeah. Epic Records. And actually, people can find that story in yeah. this book. Where yeah. can they find your book? Uh, you can get it uh, at patjohnson.com, my website, or on Amazon, Blue Collar Photographer. And you also have a signing coming up. Yes, su Sunday at Sweetwater, we're having a, a book signing from noon to three, and Joel's going to do question and answer, and we have some special guests coming to play music. Incredible. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Pat, for joining us here on yeah. Live in the Bay. I appreciate yeah. your time. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you. To grab a copy of Pat's book, we'll have a link on our website, 